Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video and welcome back to another Eurovision 2021 video. Now guys, today's video is going to be a little bit different to what we're used to seeing on here. That's because I really wanted to take this opportunity to show my appreciation to Jendrik from Germany. And before you guys click off just because you're not a fan of I Don't Feel Hate, you need to hear this out because I really feel like he is an inspiration to so many people. And before anybody says, Uh, Luke, you've been paid to say this. That is definitely not the case. Because someone like Yendrik in this day and age is hard to come by and we need to show appreciation and spread the message far and wide. So be sure to do that. Here's a little rundown. Basically, Yendrik is really using his platform in the best way possible to be a great influence on a younger generation. I feel like a large portion of the audience nowadays who watch Eurovision are Gen Z and are quite young and impressionable. And Yendrik has taken to his social media, more specifically his Instagram, to really spread a message of positivity far and wide. And do you know what? I applaud him so much for that and we're going to get to those points right now. Basically, this video is going to be me gushing about how incredible he is, but Hey ho Firstly, let's start off with his song, I Don't Feel Hate. Now guys, everybody knows, if you've been keeping up with my channel, this has a firm place in my top three. I think it's incredible. It's fun, it's lighthearted, it's vibrant, it's bubbly. I love the wacky instrumentation in there. And the song really preaches an amazing message. If somebody throws loads of hate at you, be the bigger person. Do not absorb that hate and throw it back twice as hard. Don't stoop down to anybody's level. Be yourself. Use that hateful energy positively and teach others to be respectful. Unfortunately, you can't control some things in the world, but you can control how you react to a situation. And for Yendrik to put that on a global platform and a global stage is incredible. He could quite easily get up there and sing a song about love and, I don't know, marshmallows. But he doesn't. He's using his time in Eurovision to be a really good role model. And next up, we're going to talk about his Instagram. Now, guys, a lot of people in the Eurovision fandom usually disassociate themselves with an artist if they don't like their song, which is completely absurd because behind every song, either to your taste or not to your taste, there is an artist. Always respect the human being behind the music because Yendrik He's a gem. He basically, on the daily, just strives to be the best person he can be, always promoting a positive image and always promoting something that needs awareness. And he brings light to so many different issues that people may be completely unaware of. Now, since I followed him on Instagram, I have learned so much. He has brought awareness to so many different issues. For example, Hijabs, a company in Germany that directs young people under the age of 25 to psychologists who can help out with lots of different mental health issues. For example, domestic violence, depression, eating disorders. And like I said before, a lot of people who watch Eurovision are young and impressionable. So for him to put that message out there is fantastic. And this goes hand in hand with his music video for I Don't Feel Hate. He took to Instagram to explain in one of his video diaries, which if you haven't checked out yet, please do. They are incredible and so entertaining. That the stories in his music video for I Don't Feel Hate are all representative of the pride flag colors. And he's used his Instagram to promote each and every one of these in depth. Each day he took other people's stories and gave them an opportunity to share their story on his Instagram. And I'm not being funny. If somebody does suffer from something and they see somebody who is going through the same thing, it really makes you feel like you are not alone. And even being given a chance to share your story is something that would really help you in the long run. And here are the topics that are represented in his music video and which he goes on to bring awareness to. Hate around body shame, hate around status and what job you may have, hate around the LGBTQI plus community, hate around religion, hate around pressure and hate around sexism. These are all very, very important issues that we really need to be looking at because even though we're in 2021, sometimes it feels like we're in 1921. And as I briefly mentioned, he is always feeding the Eurovision fandom's appetite with his Eurovision diaries and his did you know segments. I for one learn quite a lot about the backstage elements, but also stay very entertained. And throughout all of these diaries, he has had nothing but nice things to say about Eurovision contestants, about different artists, He's very positive and he really is a ray of sunshine. I mean, look at this picture. This is Yendrik's team all trying to be Hurricane from Serbia. I thought that was so funny, so entertaining. And for a fan, it's really nice to see artists and acts interact like that. It's really nice. It's wholesome. Also, sentiment to what an amazing person Yendrik is. If you're a Eurovision fan, which you obviously are because you're watching this video, I implore you to go and follow him on Instagram. What he did for Montaigne and what he did on the turquoise carpet was just 
It made my heart melt. He is a diamond. Okay, so if you're unaware of what he actually did, Remember when the turquoise carpet event happened? We had several people whose teams were affected by COVID. And unfortunately, the artist couldn't make it to the event. And look at what this gem actually did. Look at his blazer. It has got stickers on it or badges or something of the artists that couldn't make it. And that made my heart full. I, it made me emotional. Bless his heart. He was thinking about everybody else that couldn't go because he knows what a big event it is. He wanted everybody to feel included and just bring everybody's spirits up. Also, I couldn't go any further without showing you some pictures from this video. Unfortunately, we know Montaigne could not fly out to be at Rotterdam this year. And both Yendrik and Montaigne took part in this absolutely amazing thing. Yendrik and his team photoshopped Montaigne at all of the Eurovision backstage antics. Photoshopped her in a press conference playing ping pong, having an interview on the turquoise carpet. And if that doesn't scream inclusion, I don't know what does. I love that he takes everything on the chin. All of the hate comments he gets is just kind of like, yeah, people don't like my song. It's fun and refreshing. He even wears a necklace that says annoying, and I'm not being funny, I want one because guilty. Even down to his costume that he's gonna be wearing at the live final. I thought a dressing theme today to kind of fit in, because looking at us, we could be twins. He actually posted a meme of Marge Simpson wearing exactly the same thing and he put who wore it better. Honestly, he is just a breath of fresh air and such a decent role model. And being someone in the community that is slightly older myself, I look at him with so much respect and so much praise and I could not say a bad word about him. He is doing everything he can to spread positivity, raise awareness to issues that may not have a platform otherwise, and really help to shape and form and mould impressionable young people. And guys, I didn't want this video to be too long I didn't want to overwhelm you with something that may be seen as a serious issue compared to the fun and light-hearted stuff that I usually post. However, I highly recommend that you visit his Instagram page. My name is underscore Yendrick. You will not be disappointed. It is fun, it is informative, and he brings so much light to situations that you may be otherwise accustomed to. And I didn't want this video to come across as Luke just fangirling over Yendrik for 10 minutes. But I think credit needs to be given where credit is due. And I don't think enough people are talking about this. For someone spreading so much positivity and being a ray of sunshine in this awful couple of years that we have had, I think deserves to be applauded. And if this was a Eurovision person contest, Yendrik would win hands down. So guys, that is all from me from this video. I just wanted to bring awareness and just show my utter respect and gratitude to what Yendrik is doing. And I implore you to go and check him out on social media and have a look into the other issues that he's bringing awareness to. Thank you, Yendrik. I think you're doing an amazing job and I wish you all the luck at Eurovision. Also, your Mama Trish is number one. So this bows very well. You'll be getting some votes. Also guys, if you'd like to see me look at some other artists at Eurovision, please leave a comment down below. Give this video a great big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you can stay up to date with all of the videos I have coming out on this channel and I'm completely open to suggestions, so get them in down below. So that's all for me today. All that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Take care everybody. Goodbye.